Hello everyone and welcome to the T4 Show. My name is Colm and today I'll be showing you the PS3 exclusive Killzone 3. I'm really excited to show you guys this game. I've got some single player footage and some multiplayer footage so I can show you everything that the game has to Well, not everything, you know, what I deem is everything. So first of all, here we go. We've got you into a little gunfight here. Um, as you can tell right off the bat, this game looks beautiful. It's by the guys at Guerrilla Games, but published by Sony Entertainment. Um, this is the standard assault rifle, which I'm a huge fan of. Now, you can also pick up the enemy's assault rifle as well. But uh, it has a great zoom-in feature, which you can decide to hold or toggle. The reload um, graphic is incredible. Explosions and gunfire sounds great. Here's, here's the zoom-in function I was speaking of. Uh, so you... You, you can set your your control scheme. I had to actually play around for it. I went with the alternate control scheme because I felt that um, was more to my liking. It put the melee on the R3 instead of on the L2, and L2 now is the crouch. So this is a the, I, what you're seeing here is a standard gunfight. You're going down and shooting the guys and trying to advance your group while protecting the tank that's with you. So as you can see, I'll let you watch for a little bit here. You can see how great I am at not aiming very well. I do get better as the video goes on, I hope. Uh, plenty of ammo around. You'll see, there's, you'll see, I think, later on I show where there is uh, an ammo bin that you can refill your ammo. Uh, you always have a revolver on you, which has unlimited ammo. So just in case you do run out of the regular standard ammo, you don't have to worry. Uh, I think up here I'm not doing so well. I think I almost die. I probably do die, but then I probably edit it out so you can never see it. Okay, moving on down the road here. This is some more stuff. This shows that I'm getting better at the aiming, hopefully, for all of you out there. Sound effects are great. I ended up playing this game on my speakers and with headphones. I thought the headphones really, really added a lot to the game because you can hear things everywhere and tell more where you're getting shot at. I think that has to do with the whole uh, 5.1. I moved it down some more so you could see some more stuff. And this is pretty much the end of this sequence. I didn't want to show any storyline to ruin any of the, uh, the game. Alright, now this next sequence coming up. Who doesn't love vehicles? So here you are, you're in a tank, you're the gunner, you have a machine gun and I guess like a cannon. I guess that would be the only way to explain it. And you're pretty much moving down the corridors of this planet and they're telling you by based on giving you actual army commands of at or I mean this is what I think army commands would be. At eleven o'clock, at twenty feet twenty up, which means you look at your eleven o'clock and and look twenty up. Uh this was really fun. I like when you switch it up to be on the ground, be in vehicles. So far as I've been playing, I've been in a tank, I've been in like an aircraft, and I've been in a mech, and I've been in a jetpack. So tons of vehicles, which is great. It's a, it's a nice departure from just running the entire time. Um, very cool that all the different destruction that you're seeing here. I'll let you watch. And then you don't have to listen to me babble on. But I mean, it's your standard shooter. I mean, what more can I say? I've always been a fan of the Killzone um, series. I've I played Killzone 2, and now I've gone into 3. I never played 1. And I really like the atmosphere. I like the characters. I think the storyline is good enough. A lot of people have been hating on the storyline. But the storyline to me is, yes, it's an action flick, but what more do you want? I mean, I want to go and I want to shoot kids in the face and I want to save the girl or save the planet. So when you can do those type of things... Now, I took down some big ships there. I wanted to show you how badass I am. Okay, so that was into that. We're going to go... I'm going to show you a little bit of multiplayer here. This is called Warzone. What's cool about Warzone, it's like little um, like snippets of different types of games like you'll play one game for five minutes and then it'll switch to another game so right here we're playing like uh i guess for call of duty fans headquarters where you have to pretty much get an area and lock it down with your team while there are other things of just like team deathmatch uh there's one called 
where each team has one person who you have to kill. Um, and it keeps switching on who the person is that you have to kill. There's one where you have to go and deliver things to different areas of the map. So a lot of different modes, but this Warzone one is cool because it plays all the different modes in multiplayer. There is audio chat associated, which you can probably hear people slightly in the background if I did the audio right on this video. But I don't wear a headset because I think this is one thing PS3 does not do a great job with. Here's Oh, great. I'm really good here. So let's fast forward to when I am really good, and you can see me just shoot kids and show you that I am not totally helpless here in this multiplayer. I think I even get a double kill for you all. Of course, I am shooting from way far away from people, so they can't do anything to me, but who cares? Look at me, I'm amazing. Yeah, I really like the multiplayer. Uh, the only thing is I don't have a headset associated, and I don't have a lot of people that I know that, that play online games on PS3, so I do, before I play the single player of this game, I do hop in and play a couple rounds, and it does have the whole leveling up thing, sort of a la Call of Duty, so you don't have to worry about that. Um, it did take a long time, I will say, with the loading of getting into a game, I was not really happy about that. I had to edit that out for you guys so you wouldn't have to sit in the load screen, but it does take a long time to get into a game. I don't know if that's just the servers or because of the amount of people. And you can see that I was on the winning team, and there was never a losing team, of course. So anyway, I, I thank you all for watching this video, uh, and all your comments are greatly appreciated. You can follow me on Twitter at Culmination. You can follow Michael at Michael Mana.